Hi, I'm Tyson Cole, founding chef, owner of Uchi Nuchiko. We're going to be making a tuna, apple, and goat cheese sashimi. In my last job before Uchi, it was all about taking care of guests, and I made a lot of sashimi. And I really was challenged by our guests to come up with dishes that were sashimi based. And I kept combining the raw fish with different kinds of fat, massive, um, oils and vinegars, and different fresh components like different um, kind of kinds of like uh, produce and fruit. And this is a good example. It's actually apples and raw fish with oil and vinegar and some fat and cheese. So it's like a perfect salad combination. And so I'm gonna show you. So to start, let's go through the ingredients so you kind of know what we're using. This is a pumpkin seed oil, Australian pumpkin seed oil. Uh, we started using this when we opened Uchi. I fell in love with it. I love the flavor of it and started eating it together with different salads. And again, this dish came together with this pumpkin seed oil. I was eating apples and pumpkin seed oil at lunch and kind of ate one day with the tuna together and then add the cheese and that's when this dish started. Second oil is a lemon oil uh, from Central Market. I like the acid, acid flavor from the lemon the oil too. That's a little more depth. And the third sauce is the Ghanaian, the vinegar. It's the Japanese vinegar called Sanbaizu. It's a three part uh, Japanese vinaigrette. It actually has some sugar in there. And so it's real clean and light, real like pop of acid. It's like my favorite uh, Japanese um, really with uh, um, sauce, store bought goat cheese. Um, great eaten together with apples, apples, goat cheese, like best friends. Red meat tuna is called a kami. Uh, Alaka is red in Japanese, so it's the red meat of the tuna. Big eye tuna, red meat tuna, uh, sashimi, and lastly, apples. And the fruit itself kind of pulls it just together because the texture. So again, it's all about Japanese foods about making these perfect bites. So textures together to make this perfect bite. So in this case, you have like the raw fish texture, and then you have the goat cheese together with that. You can something to contrast that something fresh and crunchy, so that would be the apple. And finish that, we have a little garnish to finish the dish with some fresh greens. We're going to slice the tuna uh, on the bias. If you can see, if you can see like the striations on the tuna, you want to cut those perpendicular. So like to slice the sashimi, it's going to be cut like this. That way, when you eat it, it falls apart in your mouth. And you can see that, I'll show it to you here. So that would be the perfect bite. See how the striations are all running through it? So tuna sashimi is usually like five slices. Uh, I'm gonna dress it. So I'm gonna put the actual tuna until the skin is full. I'm gonna add some of the fat to it to kind of bind with it. A little bit of the olive oil to start in the bowl. A little bit of salt. We'll come in with a little bit of pepper as well. That right there is just tuna sashimi, with salt and pepper, and lemon oil. So some by zoo in the bowl, like that. And so I like the viscosity where the fat, the fat sits on top of the acid. So when I plate this, I'm gonna start the plate, I'm gonna come back with the some by zoo as well. On the plate itself, we're gonna do a little bit of that some by zoo on the plate. So I'm gonna pick this tuna sashimi up out of the bowl. And put it right into the plate. There. Next thing is the apple. So we're gonna add the apples to the tuna. Honey for apples. A little bit of salt in the apples. I'm gonna kind of flare these out with the tuna on the plate. And that way it makes it to a salad where you can eat all together. Next, we have the pumpkin seed oil on the plate. And I'm gonna come in with the goat cheese. As well. So, so far we have two sauces, the pumpkin seed oil, some baizu, and we also have the lemon oil and the pumpkin seed oil. A little bit of garnish for color on the plate as well. So you can kind of build this up from the cheese itself on the plate. You have this fresh fish, incredible tuna. You can eat just straight up as sashimi, but it's, it's begging to have flavor. It's begging to have some kind of fat, some kind of acid, some kind of salt or spice, whatever it might be. So to me, this is uchi food on a plate. It's incredibly fresh product, incredible fresh uh, uh, big eye tuna. 
combined with the goat cheese, the apples, the salt, the pumpkin seed oil, and this idea of making these puffy bites from the fruit and the tuna. The tuna that we find daily at Uchi Uchiko comes in, comes in Tokyo. I love it, it's great, incredible. Really good for you, great levels of protein, great for you. So, big on tuna.